Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on each of the main characters from the Halo audiobook slash Halo book of All of Reach, because, of course, we know the next season of Halo, Halo Season 2, is going to be focusing on that story. And I wanted to listen to this story beforehand to get a feel of what Season 2 of the series would be like. Now, of course, I've played Halo Reach, but obviously there's a massively different component to this version of the story. There is no noble team. It's instead the Spartan 2s under the command of Master Chief. Now, there are five main characters in this book um, who are, of course, the Master Chief himself, Captain Keys, Dr. Halsey, Cortana, and to basically a cameo role, but he does become a major, ca um, major character eventually, Sergeant Major Avery Johnson, which I was very happy to hear his inclusion. Now, I'm going to go over these characters one by one very briefly. Captain Keys. Well, we start him off as a Lieutenant Junior Grade, um, with Dr. Halsey going to meet one of the Spartan 2 candidates, Candidate 117, the Master Chief. And we do. S these are the three characters we focus on throughout the story. We see Dr. Halsey kind of develop the Spartan program to the point where we know it's going to be with the Mjolnir armor and the energy shields and the augmentations, which we do hear how badly it went for some of the Spartans. Like, the Spartan 2 program started out with 150 candidates. By the end of the book, there was a staggeringly low 30 left. Be it through ones who dropped out of the program, who ended up getting killed in the augmentation process, or ended up severely disabled from the augmentation process, such as Vahajad, um, who I thought was a really cool character because just because he wasn't a Spartan anymore doesn't mean he wasn't done in the book, because he did eventually go on to work with the Office of Naval Intelligence with Dr. Halsey, actually, so he became a scientist, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I was hoping that his story wasn't done when the augmentation pro process for him went wrong. Um, anyway, we see Captain Keys as well rise through the ranks from Lieutenant Junior Grade to Commander during the Battle of... Um, Sigma Octanus, which I've got to say, was a really cool chunk of the book. Like, I really liked that. It was completely removed from Reach. Like, they weren't even in the Reach system anymore. His crew of the USS... No, not of the USS. The UNSC Iroquois. I was waiting for that mistake to come around. Thought it might. Anyway, his crew was really cool and really interesting. I especially liked Lieutenant Hikawa and Ensign Lovell. I do wish those guys maybe had a bit more attention drawn to them throughout the book, but... I suppose they couldn't really, because they were just minor characters. They were just um, Captain Keys' senior staff, so... I wish they had a bit more of a spotlight put to them, but I understand why they couldn't, obviously. Of course, we saw John go from a very, very self-censored child to a man who was literally about to have his heart broken when even one of his fellow Spartans died in the field of battle. Like, I thought that progression from self-centered child who would literally do anything to save his fellow Spartans' lives was a really beautiful growth to me. Like, this was very much a chief origin story, and I really like that, because we we hear bits in the games about his origins, but we don't really get the full details. And we do get a bit of that in Halo Season 1 on Paramount+, Plus, but, again, not as much as I'd have liked. But this story really gives us everything. Like, this story takes us through multiple decades of his life, and I've got to say, it was really cool to see him grow as a character, along with the other Spartans, so Kelly, Linda, Fred, Sam, James, like, all those guys. It was really cool to see them grow as people. And then, of course, we have um, two other characters, Cortana and Sergeant Johnson. Now, Cortana was introduced right towards the end of the book as... She was just about ready to select her Spartan, and of course she went with the Chief and her ship. She chose the Pillar of Autumn, under the command of Captain Keys. Um, which of course we know becomes very relevant in a very short space of time, with a certain ring being found, because yes, that did happen at the end, and I had goosebumps, because I knew where that story was going. Combat evolved. Um... But yeah, it was a really cool story. Of course, Sergeant Johnson was a bit of a cameo role, 
but I squealed when I heard his name, because he just came out of nowhere, just like, yeah, I'm here now, hi, oh, hello, ah, <laughs> um, yeah, it was really cool to see that he was included in the book, even though it was only for a brief time. Of course, even st seeing the developments of the Mjolnir armor and the Spartans as a whole, like going through the augmentation process, going through their very rigorous training, by the way, and seeing just seeing everyone develop into the characters we know and love from the games and the other books in the, the Halo book series, but I especially enjoyed seeing them, you know, become the characters that I knew from the games. Um, like, Chief being the very stoic Spartan that he is, Dr. Halsey being very secretive, Captain Keys just being, you know, every kind of awesome, and Cortana being the sassiest AI that she could possibly be. But honestly, I would recommend checking this book out if you guys have Audible, or even if you managed to find it in a bookshop. Like, you can read it, you can listen to it, because I personally struggle with reading, so that's why I went for the audiobook option. But yeah, if you can find somewhere to listen to it, or if, you, or if you can find the book itself and read it, I would definitely recommend doing so because it was an amazing origin story for the Master Chief and, again, the likes of Dr. Halsey, Captain Keys, even Cortana, and kind of Avery Johnson, but I really wish he had a bit more. But yeah, and of course I wanted to do this because Halo Season 2 is coming out in just under a month now, and I kind of wanted to see how that version of the story might go without Noble Team. Anyway, that's going to do it for my briefish thoughts on Halo The Fall of Reach, the first book in the series. So please, like this video, subscribe to Mine Rock Sounds channel, so links down in the description, my button is down there. Please click those and then the bell icons to get our notifications. Comment as well, because why not, and let me know if you've read this book, what do you think of it, and if you haven't, have I convinced you to, to give it a look? Once you've done that too, please follow me on my social medias. They'll be down in the link tree in the description. Below well, that will be Roxanne's website. And lastly, please do share this video with all your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. And remember, Spartans don't die, they just go missing in action. Goodbye!